into today's video, man. I have for you the top five best class setups after the season two update here in Modern Warfare 2. Now, there's quite a bit of weapon tuning, so these five weapons may surprise you. Before we get into that, though, make sure you guys are subscribed with all notifications on so you don't miss out on future season two content that I have coming to this channel probably just a few hours from now. And do me a solid by clicking the thumbs up button. It takes seconds of your guys' time and it really does help push the video out, give us more exposure. And this could really help some people out there looking for some class setups. Without further ado, here is class setup number one. We're gonna be starting off with the brand new assault rifle, the ISO Hemlock. This thing has quite literally zero recoil. It is unbelievable, it hits hard, and you're gonna see that in the firing range after I give you the attachments and tuning. So starting off, I have the 45 round magazine, Wish it went to a 60, but 45 is surprisingly enough because of how powerful this thing truly is. So this allows me to take out multiple enemies without having to reload. It's great. For my next attachment to control my recoil just a little bit better, I have the FTAC Castle Comp. I get horizontal and vertical recoil control. For my barrel, I have on the Fiedler T50. This gives me damage range and bullet velocity, which makes my ISO Hemlock much more effective at longer range engagements. Not to mention, I also get a little bit more recoil control there. For my optic, I have the Slimline Pro. The iron sights aren't bad, but honestly, I just personally prefer an optic on this, and I think the Slimline Pro is probably the best one. And then finally, I have on the Res 2 Stock, where you get aim walking speed, which allows me to strafe a lot quicker, making it so much harder for the enemies to land shots on me. And I get sprint speed, so I can get from point A to point B just a little bit more quickly. As far as goes for the tuning, starting with the muzzle, I tuned it for recoil stabilization and gun kick control, just dedicating this attachment to making my weapon as accurate as possible. For the tuning on the barrel, I went ahead and tuned it for recoil steadiness and damage range, which is gonna help make this weapon just a lot better at any long range engagement I get myself into. For the tuning on the optic, I tuned it for ADS speed and I close, so the sight is a little bit closer to my face and I could see further away. And then finally, for the stock tuning, I did ADS speed and aim walking speed, basically just dedicating this attachment to my mobility, making my weapon as quick as possible. Now, I have a little secret for you all. For the tuning, you can now use the D-pad, which makes it so much better. You don't need to plug in a mouse anymore like I've been preaching in my previous videos. The, pa the pad works now, finally, which is awesome. So you guys are able to be pretty much identical to the numbers I have here. Bring this thing to the firing range. I'm going to show you what I've been preaching. This video, zero recoil. It doesn't move whatsoever. Unbelievable. Great mobility. It has really good strafe. This thing is perfect, man. I love it. For our second class setup, we have the M13B, which actually received a buff in the Season 2 update. This thing does more damage. Wow. Here's the class that you guys want to use for it. So starting off, I have the 45-round magazine. Honestly, I think 45 is more than enough. 60 just makes this thing a little too slow, in my opinion, as much as I would love to throw this on so I can get those extra 15 bullets. I don't really think it's worth it. My weapon's too slow and I don't like it. For my underbarrel, I went ahead and threw on the FTAC Ripper 56. This is gonna make my weapon so much more accurate and easier to manage the recoil of. For the muzzle, I have the FTAC Castle Comp, which we had on our ISO Hemlock. I mean, this thing completely removes any type of bounce our weapon has, which I love so much. And this muzzle is a really good complement to our underbarrel. Such a good pairing, and I promise you, this thing's going to be an absolute laser beam once we're done with it. For the optic, I went ahead and threw on the Cronin Mini Red Dot. I don't know what it is, but this optic specifically feels really, really good on the M13. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to throw on any other optic. There's a lot of other good ones like the Slimline Pro, which we threw on our ISO Hemlock. And then my final attachment is the D37 grip, which gives me better recoil control. Now, as far as goes for the tuning, starting with the underbarrel, I did recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. And you can see in the tuning chart, the accuracy is damn near maxed out. And it works out so, so well because we tune the muzzle for the exact same thing. We do recoil stabilization and gun kick control, and it gives us recoil control. So we got accuracy, recoil control. This weapon has a high fire rate, but dude. But it would really surprise you with how great the handling is after the tuning on the muzzle and the underbarrel. For the tuning on the optic, I did ADS speed and then far, so visually my optic is a little bit further away and it looks like my weapon has even less recoil than it actually does. And then finally for the rear grip, I tuned it for recoil steadiness and aiming idle stability, basically just heavily favoring the recoil control. 
Take this to the firing range. No barrel, no problem. You don't need it. Unbelievable. That high fire rate. I mean, it, this thing just looks ridiculous. And it has better damage now. I'm telling you, man, this might be the new meta AR. For our third class setup, we have the VEL46 or the MP7. This thing was actually not touched whatsoever in the update, which I think makes it even better because they did nerf the Fennec 45. So this is a really good replacement for it. And here's my side up. So starting off, the Commando Foregrip. This is going to give me recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. We're going to need this because I have an attachment that's going to completely chalk my recoil control. So that's going to come in handy later. Our next attachment is the FTAC Castle Comp, uh, once again, because this thing just does such a great job at removing any type of bounce your weapon has, and I love that so much about it. And then for my barrel, I have on the Lachman Dart 165 millimeter, where you get recoil control and bullet velocity, so it makes this thing a little bit more lethal at longer range engagements. For my fourth attachment, I have on the VLK Laser 7MW. You know me and my lasers, man. With this, I get ADS speed, aiming stability and sprint to fire speed. So a little bit of mobility and a little bit of recoil control. And then my last and final attachment is the Vel A collapsed stock. And this is the attachment I'm talking about, man. If you look at the chart on the left-hand side, the accuracy and recoil control get completely torched. But the real positive thing about this is your mobility just skyrockets. And we're really, really gonna need that, especially with uh, this weapon specifically. It is just not all that mobile without the stock. Now for the tuning, this is incredibly important specifically for the Vel 46. You can now tune the lasers in Modern Warfare 2. So this is what I tuned my laser for. I'm gonna have to do a lot more experimenting, but trust the process. So for the left slider, I did aim walking steadiness, and then the bottom slider, I did ADS speed. So I got best of both worlds like this thing offers, ADS speed and then aiming stability, just making the weapon accurate and quick at the same time. For the tuning on the barrel, I did recoil steadiness and ADS speed. Once again, little bit of both, which is completely okay. The tuning on the muzzle, I dedicated this specifically to recoil control so we could, you know, trump that stock that completely torches it. And then finally, for the tuning on the underbarrel, I did recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. So we take this to the firing range. We got power, recoil control, and mobility. So first, the sprint speed's great. ADS speed's pretty fast. And then the recoil control is unbelievable. Super easy to manage, and you could really kind of laser people at a pretty good distance. For our fourth class setup, we have the TAC-56. Believe it or not, they left it alone. It's not nerfed, it's not buffed, and that means it's just as good as it was in season one. So here is my class setup for the weapon. We have the six drawn magazine. I throw this on because it makes for some really sick clips when you have this large magazine on such a dominant weapon. Love it so much. For my next attachment, I have the FTAC Castle Comp. No surprise, don't really need to go over it because we've used on all the other weapons I've covered today. Next, we have the FSS Ali V Laser. What makes this Attack 56 so much better than it was before is we get to tune the lasers. So wait till we get into that. Next, for my third, what is this, the fourth attachment? Yeah, I'm a little too ahead of myself. We got the TV Cardinal Stock, which I love so much because it gives me aim walking speed. I can strafe really fast, making it so much harder for the enemy to land shots on me. And I get sprint speed. I'm just able to be a little bit lighter on my feet. And then my final attachment is the Debo Clean Shot Grip which furthers my mobility by giving me sprint to fire speed, weapon comes up quicker after sprinting, and ADS speed. Now for the tuning. Starting with the muzzle, like I did with the rest of the other muzzles in this top five, recoil stabilization, gun kick control. The tuning on the laser, I actually did aim walking steadiness and ADS. So once again, just best of both worlds. My weapon's gonna be steady and manageable with the recoil. And I'm still gonna be very quick and snappy with the ADS speed. For the tuning on the stock, I did ADS speed and aim walking speed. So this is basically dedicated to making my weapon as quick as possible. And then the tuning on the rear grip is ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Once again, dedicating this thing to be as quick as snappy as possible. And the reason I did that is because my six drawn magazine really kind of knocks down my mobility. So we're going to need it. You take this to the firing range. And I mean, it's just like, are you serious? Zero, zero recoil super fast and this is what makes it my favorite weapon in the game it's unbelievable i mean i can just sit here and oh i was missing my shots there but i mean i can just sit here and just be laser accurate all day and for my fifth and final class setup what i believe is the new best smg here in modern warfare 2 
the Lachman sub, aka the MP5. After the Fennec 45 nerf, I, I don't think anything comes even close to the Lachman sub. So here's the setup that I love to use on it. Starting off, I had the 50 round drum so I could take out multiple enemies without having to reload. You could probably get away with the 40, but man, the 50 just feels so, so good. Uh, for my underbarrel, I have on the Merc foregrip, a little bit of a throwback attachment from Warzone 1, Battle for 2019. And this does such a good job of, of reducing the recoil and the bounce of the Lachman sub. For my next attachment, I have the Bruin Cubic Comp, which sadly enough, you can't really like distinguish the difference between the Aftat Castle Comp and this one and the lock shot. You, you really can't tell the difference too well. So I like to run the Bruin. It just feels right, I guess. I, I, genuinely, I don't even know what the difference is. For my laser, I have the VLK Laser 7MW. Once again, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and then aiming stability. So again, this laser just gives you everything you need. Accuracy and mobility. And then my final attachment is the LM Stockless Mod, which very similar to our MP7 setup completely just tortures your recoil control and accuracy so that's where the underbarrel and the muzzle came into play now for the tuning starting off with the laser i went ahead and did aim walking steadiness and ads speed very similar to how we tuned the lasers with the previous setups for the tuning on the muzzle i went ahead and did recoil stabilization and gun kick control very similar to how we tuned the ftac castle comp on our other setups the tuning on the underbarrel i went ahead and did uh hip walking speed because i don't really care for hip recoil control i don't really hip fire so at the hip, I'm able to just to walk a little bit quicker, which is great. And then the bottom slider, I did ADS speed. And then you cannot tune the magazine or the stock. We quickly take this thing to the firing range, and you're going to see, I mean, zero recoil. Thanks to the muzzle and the underbarrel. The mobility is very, very good, although we have on that uh, larger magazine. I got a new best SMG. I'm probably gonna have some gameplay out uh, sooner or later with the build. And then here's the rest of my class setup. I always use either the p890s or the x13s i always have a stun semtax the same perk package as always and then same with the field upgrade it all stays the same no matter what i am using if there's a weapon that i did not include in this top five that you think deserve to be in it let me know in the comments which weapon that may be and and also leave in the comments which weapons have you guys been using after the season two update again quite a bit of weapons so there's a great variety of weapons to try out and use now so i'm curious where you guys are standing with that and I'll see you guys in the next upload. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day. And I'm out. Peace.